Hey guys, this is Bly from Silver League and Advanced League, bringing you another Pokemon Black and White OU battle video. This battle is against a trainer called Before from Smogon. Now let's take a quick look at the teams. Uh, I'm using a Trick Room team. I don't have much experience with using these teams. This is like my third battle so far, but I'm slowly getting used to it. And I can say it's a very interesting style of play uh, than my usual baton passing and sun team. His team uh, appears to be a sun team, but the only Pokemon I really see that has any use to the sun is the Leafeon. The other Pokemon really don't have much to do with the sun. Well, I know Dugtrio is used to trap and KO other weather abusers, but I don't know. He, In my opinion, he should have another Pokemon with Chlorophyll or at least Leaf Guard or something. Well, here we go. Uh, he's gonna start things off with a Genesect called Bastard. And yeah, that thing really is a Bastard. And I'm gonna start off with Reuniclus, which was a pretty bad choice, and you'll see why. Now this one time where I don't want him to get an attack boost, he gets an attack boost. And I know a U-turn is coming. But I, uh, but I also know Reuniclus can take it uh, because he has some defense EVs and maximum HP. And yeah, Reuniclus just barely uh, takes the attack, barely, like red zone 46 HP. And now I'm able to use Trick Room while he sends out his nine tails called Hellraiser and now the sun is up and trick room is also up so I guess we both set up our strategy now at this point I don't really feel like saving the Reuniclus because he doesn't even have recover this is more offensive version uh, so I go for the Psy Shock to get some damage and it does some decent damage and Reuniclus uh, you can rest in peace now this is actually great I don't have to switch and I have three more turns to abuse trick room so now I'll go for my Machamp and here comes Machamp my attack of choice is Dynamic Punch, it's just amazing. 120 base power, Confuse Hacks, just amazing. My Machamp is max, maximum attack and HP holds a Muscle Band. Now he's gonna send out his Rubber, which is a Magic Bounce Zatu. And I go for the Stone Edge. Now at this point it's not gonna take him out. I wish I had Stealth Rocks, but yeah. It just goes to show you, you gotta set up Stealth Rocks uh, first when using Trick Room teams. This kind of thing happens a lot, like you nearly KO something. Now I'm paralyzed, but I predict he's gonna switch the stupid bird, and he does. So I go for a Dynamic Punch instead of uh, Stone Edge. And here's where I get lucky. I get a crit, and uh, it takes out this Sun Eater, which is a Leafeon. This is just great. Leafian actually has great defense, I think 110 base defense, but not even he can take a crit uh, dynamic punch from Machamp. Now here comes Bastard again. He's gonna try to abuse the sun, you know how I say abuse, uh, by using flamethrower and I guess he's uh, choice carved because all he'll use is flamethrower. And I go for the dynamic punch. Machamp t took the flame trouble like a boss. And he goes into red zone and gets confused hacks. Yay. Now I can switch out my Machamp because I don't feel like having it die yet. And I send in my Porygon 2. Now I'm going to trace this bastard's download. Yeah. I'm tracing the download. Or downloading the trace, no wait, tracing the download. Now my special attack has rose, haha. <laughs> and he gets a deadly dose of para hacks, uh, confuse hacks. Bye bye bastard. You really were a dirty bastard. 
And now the most boring part of this video, the Star Wars between Doug Trio called the, St the Three Stooges, <laughs> and that's actually a good name, and my Porygon 2. As you can see, we both go for the Toxic. We must both be fans of Britney Spears and the song Toxic. Now, all I can do at this point is stall him, because this Porygon 2 was used on my gravity team, and it has gravity, and I didn't want to delete the move because it's very hard to get it, and I don't have a black 2 and white 2 yet. So now this Pokemon has Trick Room, Gravity, Recover, and Toxic. I have like no attacking moves. If only I had Ice Beam instead of Gravity, at this point it would be easy to take out the Three Stooges but I don't so now I gotta stall him out because I can't switch and he doesn't seem to want to switch well even though he knows he's gonna lose the stall war I mean uh, Dugtrio has no means of recovery and Porygon 2 has godly defenses so I'm probably gonna be the winner of this little stall competition now, I don't know whether I should pause the video or just leave it like this. I guess I'll just leave it so you can see the toxic taking effect. Being a poison type gym leader, I should use this move more. But actually, I don't. You rarely see me using toxic in any of my battles. Stalling is not one of my favorite strategies that I would employ. Oh, come on. Toxic and I think we got two more turns to kill. Uh, at this point I think I set up Trick Room again because I know the Stall War is going to be over soon. And I need my Trick Room up. He's going to go for Reversal. Even though he has low health it does like nothing. And yeah I go for the Trick Room. I remember this last turn I went for Trick Room and then he got in the red zone with toxic and for some weird reason he used sucker punch instead of reversal or something like that and I don't even have any attacking moves so I get a free recover which is awesome what sucks is that that uh, toxic at this point is dealing as much damage uh, as the recover brings back so the recover isn't really gonna do much for me as you'll see I'm like back where I started but at least I got another turn and I got my uh, trick room all set up now he's gonna go for his let's see I don't really remember at this point oh rubber the stupid Satu I hate that word now I switch out my Porygon 2 and go into Shaniqua she's the star of my team a very nasty shiny buffalant in a luxury bling bling ball. He goes for roost, but Shaniko doesn't care. She wants chicken wings for dinner. And she is going to have her chicken wings. Shaniko goes for a head smash, boosted by Reckless and a choice band, which hits like a truck. And goodbye, weird chicken Pokemon. And now the Faded Showdown, Shaniqua versus Garchomp, who has recently been demoted to OU. Shaniqua doesn't fear Garchomp because she's got kids to feed and she wants to wrap this up really quickly. So head smash into the Garchomp. She gets a dose of rough skin but she takes it like a boss. She's also not killed by her own recoil and emerges victorious so way to go Shaniqua you're the star of my team I'm gonna be using you so much from now on well I hope you like this video uh, what I can say about it is I'm pretty happy with my trick room team with some practice and some improvements uh, it has the potential to become a really really good team good go uh, good game uh, before whatever his name was hope to bail you again soon Hope you like this video, it's a tad bit better than um, my first video because I'm not actually holding the DS and it's not shaking like before. <laughs> yeah, 
I hope to be able to make the real videos but I'm having a bit of trouble using the emulator so yeah well see you guys later and peace